Bible says, look of the thousands who received the word and were baptized following the preaching of Peter on the day of Pentecost. Now look at your Bibles uh, for just a few moments. Follow me through the chapter. In the second chapter, the second verse, you see, there is uh, the event that took place. You remember it, it was called the day of Pentecost. That's the day when the baptism of the Holy Ghost empowered those apostles and 120 some persons that were in the upper room. We like to say when the Holy Ghost skipped up those steps, kissed those waiting disciples with baptismal tongues of living fire. And they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterances. Uh, full of wine. But in the 14th verse, you have Peter's response to those who were watching and in amazement. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that. Somebody say, this is that. Amen. Now this is that. You, you could really point to this at some point during the service today. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost came in this room and people began to magnify and praise his name. Yeah. You could look at somebody and say, this is that. Yeah. In other words, this is the same that that was in the scripture. Now, if you don't have this, you won't understand that. I don't hear nobody talking to me because this is that. Now, a lot of people are dry and lifeless, cold, dead, and insipid, sit in church like they've been baptized in prune juice and smothered in lemon sauce. Look at your neighbor and ask them, do you have this? If you have this, you'll understand that. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about the baptism in the Holy Ghost. We're talking about an expression of a Pentecostal manifestation as God moves upon his people. Yes. Oh, Lord, deliver me from cold, dead, dry churches. Yes. Deliver me from churches. Uh, you know, they've gotten like the old church used to be. Uh, some of them used to sell chicken dinners and they used to sell ice cream. Uh, and nothing wrong with that uh, if uh, that's a means of, of just... Uh, uh, being uh, of service to the people and uh, creating fellowship among groups where they sell these dinners and uh, sell this ice cream. Nothing wrong with selling chicken and ice cream, but it's terrible when you become as dead as the chicken <laughs> and as cold as the ice cream. It's not just to y'all. On this day of Pentecost, he said, but this is for your children. And I like this part. He said, and all right there. He was saying the Holy Ghost is not just for this age, but the many in 2007 that haven't come yet. 